Gramps goes out to dust and deploy. Ye. But yes, you see a fox boy ye. versus Gigi live show right now. Face the pain, face the pain, ripping it head to pieces. Before I break down, you get my thoughts on the card. Most people will say, what is your biggest take for watching UFC? As I said before, from where UFC started back in the dark days to where it was currently. The one thing that I absolutely love. The one that I love about the UFC is Bruce Buffer. Every time when the main fight, when he does a stick, and now, uh, five rounds in the, in the UFC multi-weight championship. I know someone Bruce Buffer is probably watch. I get legit. Tears pops, it's just like, ah, oh, it's just like, <sighs> but yes, welcome guys to so UCF Fox, that's the point for KG, already in the books from Glendale, Arizona. I mean, if you look at the prelim card of Fox, all those fights, Pratt Tavares over Chris Joko by knockout in the third round, Donald Maraca, Wilson Hayes. Now, decision in the third round. The Musa Salikov knocks out Ricky Rainey. I, you know, I didn't really get that fight. I, it just did uh, kind of like, hmm. That fight to me was kind of like a blip on the radar. The closing up the Perino and Car Tony Carlos Jr., Tim Bosch. I thought for sure Tim Bosch was good. Make Tony Carlos, at uh, Tony Carlos Jr. pay because if you remember Tim Bosch's first opponent he faced, he knocked him out by uppercut, got him pitch, uh, up against the fence, just uppercut, 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 just knocked him out. I thought for sure he's gonna do the same thing. Tony Carlos Jr. Gracias. Congrats on the fight. Then we open the main card. I mean, like, okay. I mean, I mean, I mean, really, you're gonna open up the the, the main card on Fox. I'm glad there was some women's with a women's belt. Michelle Wallerson, Corey Casey. I thought for sure it was gonna be a much more different fight because Corey Casey, because when she fought with Felicia Sherry, I thought she 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 she, she got the W on that card, but she got robbed. But taking on somebody like Michelle Lars, to me, she just doesn't really. Michelle Lars doesn't really excite me as a women's fire. Cause she looks way too young to be in the MMA. Yeah, she's cry high, yeah, but she just doesn't really kind of like excite me uh, uh, as a fan of hers. If it was a women's ball, and if it was Felice Herring. I'm, I'm, I'm like, all oh, but the Cordy Casey Michelle Morrison fight, you know, it's, it's a lot like the Wilson Sakhalov and Ricky Rainey. It's just, I mean, I, I love, I really like watch Cordy Casey throw down A by the U, UFC Women's Strawway, but her, I mean, I mean, her against Michelle Morrison was just kind of like, yeah. Mm. But is it a Sonya? I mean, is your side, dude, if you're watching, you remind me a lot like John Bones Jones. So long and lengthy and and, and also you remind me a lot like Beltor's Michael Van Page. So smooth, so slick you can dodge a kick. Uh, is your son here? I'm saying this right now. He's gonna be the next UFC middleweight champion. You're hearing it first. Alex Oliver, Carlos Khan closing out uh, the co-feature. 
I mean, that was a, a, a stand and banner fight. I mean, both of those guys, I mean, I, want, I can give a, a, a congrats and speedy recovery to Matt DeMauro Brown, who's supposed to take on Carlos Condit, but Alex Oliveira, dude, he stepped in. He, 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 did, he stepped in, but he stepped up. Taking out Carlos Khan. I mean, anytime you see Carlos Khan throw down, whew, that guy is like one greasy fighter. That's why he's known as a natural born killer. The main fight just saw Poirier against uh, Justin Gagey. Fourth round. I mean, that that whole that from the first to the fourth, it was just really good, but. Gagey, he got he got a little carried away. Uh, and let, let me talk to you. There, there, there are two times that he poked, I poked for you. And the third round, just before Bell, uh, Bell Ray, he, uh, you know, I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna poke you back. Pook, I poked him back. Kind of like you know what? Tit for tat, it's an eye for an eye. And then when the fourth round. Uh, already happened. Poirier, uh, th now, now this is a, a wise old saying. You let your opponent breathe in an MMA belt, you're screwed. You have to stay on your opponent no matter what. But Gagey, he was, he was leg kicking Poirier's legs off him. But man, Poirier, that guy is a trooper. That, that guy brought his brothers. Uh, he brought his. Uh, he, he brought his pay of lunch to work for him. But Gagey. Whew. I mean, good lord, that guy is tougher than he can say. But in the first round, boy, he just comes out like, oh, shoot him. Just tagging Gagey left, right, and center. And and uh, I said, stay on, stay on. <laughs> Lights out. Next Saturday, UFC 